All right, guys, so today we're in the spray simulator, and what we're going to talk about is going in and um, seeing how we can change our speed source as far as what our rate controller is using for speed and what um, our corner post is displaying for speed. So we'll hit our menu button here, and we'll stay in machine settings, scroll down and find our transmission settings, and then we'll go to advanced settings. And then here you see the rate control slash display speed. We can click in this box. And so right now we're selected for wheel speed, but we also have two other options, GPS speed, and then there would be a radar speed down here underneath it if we had a radar installed on the machine. So some kind of benefits, um, like I said, we can go in and change these speed source depending on um, kind of field conditions and things that we're seeing. Um, we would use our wheel speed, um, say if we didn't have a radar installed or if we were having poor GPS signal quality. Uh, we would also use wheel speed and tall crop conditions that can cause poor radar signal. Um, and then if it, we really want to use wheel speed if we know there's not going to be any wheel slip involved with the application we're using. So if we have dry field conditions, we would stick with that wheel speed. And um, we'd switch it over to GPS speed if we're seeing a lot of wheel slip. And then obviously we, we could leave it on GPS if we don't have a radar. And then if we are if we are used to using radar, we can swap over to GPS if we get into those tall crop conditions. And then lastly, if we do have a radar installed, we would put it um, we would put it on a radar speed if our GPS signal was degraded and if our wheel slip um, is occurring in the field. So um, just kind of gives you three options there depending on field conditions where we can go in and change the speed output. That way our rate controller can maintain a constant rate because it's seeing a constant speed.